This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review, and today, Steeljaw from the Studio Series 86 line. And everybody is complaining about this guy. Not everybody, but I've seen a lot of hate for this mold. I don't know, I like this guy. He looks good. So anyway, um, I'm hoping we get the, you know, the Rhino Ramhorn. So eventually, but this, this guy, I like him. So I'm gonna do a review. But before I do that, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my interview playlist if you wanna hear stories from the actors. And now let's roll the intro. Steeljaw can sniff out any trail, if it's hot or if it's not. Alright, here we are with Steeljaw, and I just remembered, he's on the Netflix show in cassette mode for a couple seconds, he's being tortured by uh, some seekers. I don't know why, I just remember that. In time, we hacked into what's left of Steeljaw. But uh, yeah, he looks, uh, he looks good, but the box, I mean, they don't have the diorama for Studio Series 86. Uh, cause they're all, you know, they give you an extra one in the SS86 just so that you have a nice back uh, drop. Here, it, you know, they don't do that uh, for these uh, class. So Transformers are movies, Steel Jaw, you have a nice, uh, you know, picture here. Product shots, looking good. Six steps, very easy, nice transformation. You have the instructions, which they show you, uh, you know the transformation in way too many steps and how to install the accessories and that's pretty much it also how to use the adapter for uh, the uh, speaker uh, which we're gonna test if it works so he's uh, a lot of people like I said complained about this mold but I mean I like him okay he doesn't move here you know there's no head movement at all uh, either at the main or the head itself and there's no like knee articulation but I mean it's still a faithful representation of the character you can't mistake in him for anything else you have this uh, thing that you plug in the back to give him uh, the little wings and the tails um, you know a little bit of paint uh, for the joints here uh, well not this one but this this you know the eyes are painted a little bit of uh, white for the teeth he has four um, you know uh, gold plastic for this so I'm hoping they fix the GPS and then you have the little you know cat uh, you know star that uh, you know when they want to you to pet them and they start by showing you their ass so there you go and then you have like a little uh, that's a cassette uh, re you know uh, portion of the uh, character so that's the thing that where you would stick a pen to rewind it people won't get that reference if you're you know below 40 so yeah no I like him and then you have if you want to you can remove this piece and then you can take this gold that's painted like so it's orange plastic all painted I'm glad so why couldn't they paint the other part because these are painted too so why didn't they paint this you know I don't know uh, and then you plug this way when it wants to come on there you go and then you plug it here and now you have steel Joe with a speaker I don't think that was necessary at all uh, this adapter seems to be it looks like a little seat you know so if you want to you know Daniel to kind of ride sit there and ride a lion I don't know even this side kind of looks like uh, there's a little seat there so you know interesting 
uh, or if it's a reference to something else in the show, I'm completely missing it. Um, so, all right, so let's do some quick size comparison. It's Daniels, I'm sure of it. Here's your steel jaw with rewind and eject with uh, the toy hacks gun and couple stickers. The scale pretty good. Then you have a deluxe receptor which he tries to save in the movie. Uh, so I think that's uh, a fitting comparison. And blaster. I'm gonna leave blaster here because I mean that scale. Uh, I think in the show the lion would have been a little bigger. But uh, let's do couple tests first. So you have a slot here and it there's a so this oh yeah it fits so all right there you go so you have one half of this set now does it work with the booger does it still work with the, the booger picker hold on oh yeah it does all right no problem so there you go and that's why i think soundwave is superior to blaster because he needed this to beat Soundwave. Soundwave could have kicked his ass without. And that's not including the Headmaster show. That's just for that um, that one episode. And here's the punch I need. So alright. So that works. Now let's Oh that works really good. It's a tight fit so it's not gonna fall. So that's that's nice. And now I'm gonna transform this guy uh, right before your eyes. So you wanna line up the gun with the leg. You wanna remove, well actually let's uh, line up the gun with the leg. Let's remove this. And this goes like this, this goes like this. And then you split. this like this and then you put that back in so they could have put a decal or paint here so that you have the two rewinder so yeah if you want you can put this here but i mean it looks goofy so but you, there's not much to do with the accessories uh one season cassette mode and now let's see if i press here Oh, that's, that's a very tight fit. Hold on. Oh. Nope. All right. Is there a side to it? Maybe. Let's turn it around. There seemed to be a side to it, but it fits very tightly though and as the art uh, not not too hard to remove all right well well there you go successful test of this so now let's put him back in robot mode because uh, I'm not gonna bother with comparison with the cassette mode I like this guy it's a good representation of steel jaw it works with the others which we're gonna get and there you go this could be a f you know fully equipped i i put the little adapter here because it could be like a you know a wrist gizmo or something that blaster could use i just don't want to have this stored somewhere for no reason but i mean he has plenty of pegs in the back if you don't want to display it so there you go so i think this works well now i know that we're getting a ram horn with this guy who's going to be reissued I don't know, 2026 or 2025, maybe. Um, so I definitely will be getting the reissue perceptor with Ram Horn to complete the cassettes. And then I'm gonna sell whichever perceptor I like the least. Or maybe I'll put one in my season two display and one in my movie display. Um, actually, you know what? That's probably what I'm gonna do. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have them on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.